As we all know, OpenAI is a company working on AI development, and their language model is GPT-4. On the other hand, Meta focuses on displacing competitors in various production areas. Evidence of this includes their social networks like WhatsApp and Instagram, as well as the recently released threads, which they introduced in an attempt to outcompete Twitter. Even when ChatGPT was released, they tried to create an AI that could surpass it and become the leader in language models. Just three months after launching ChatGPT, in February they released a language model Model called Llama. To outperform their competitors, they needed to find their flaws and make their product better. Mark Zuckerberg is skilled at this, so they decided to remove the limitations on ChatGPT and open source the code for everyone. However, Meta made a critical mistake and misinterpreted a security issue as an error, nearly ruining their company. Mark Zuckerberg even faced the risk of imprisonment because of this. The fault lay in the language model Llama, which we'll discuss now. Let's dive a bit deeper to understand. On November 30, 2022, OpenAI released a language model AI called ChatGPT. If you didn't know, language models are just one type of AI, and there are many others, but I'll cover that in another video. After ChatGPT's launch, it gained popularity, and everyone started talking about it as the future of humanity. News about it spread worldwide. People conducted experiments, made videos, and blogged about it. Some countries like Italy, China, and Russia even blocked access to it. Afterward, large corporations and companies, with Google, Meta, and Apple at the forefront, became aware of these developments. Google was worried that ChatGPT might harm their search engine, so they also integrated AI into their services. Apple learned about ChatGPT but didn't take immediate action. Instead, they hinted at their own future AI, potentially even better than ChatGPT. People understood and eagerly awaited it from Apple. Now, Mark Zuckerberg's company, Meta, has always had a habit of either buying out competitors or taking away their target audience. When they realized they couldn't buy OpenAI, they tried to get rid of the competition and create their own AI in that field. So, on February 24, 2023, they launched Llama, an analog of ChatGPT. However, Llama didn't gain as much popularity as ChatGPT and was mostly known among people interested in AI news and IT specialists. At first, Meta didn't openly share the codes of this language model because Llama was initially released under a non-commercial license intended for research purposes. Mostly just academic researchers, government organizations and research labs, people they could trust. But before they could blink an eye, just a week later, an unknown user published its source code on the website 4chan, sharing it as a torrent file. For those unfamiliar, 4chan is an English language image board and anonymous web forum created by the American internet entrepreneur Christopher Poole. After the data leak, Meta panicked and tried to issue an open appeal, asking everyone not to spread it further and to delete all related posts. However, nobody wanted to listen, and the leak continued. Even on March 3rd, people switched from the dark leak to an open one, publishing torrent files on the social network Reddit, which is more open than 4chan but still anonymous. Then, influential individuals and large corporations started worrying because Llama could run on regular consumer graphics processors and achieve similar quality to OpenEye's GPT 3.5. Many specialists believed that Llama being available to the public could have negative consequences since such systems could be used for spam or phishing attacks. However, some experts believed that it posed no threat to internet users. To resolve the leak and continue developing their company without harming the AI industry, Mark Zuckerberg took action. He requested the removal of the model from the public internet and tried to control its distribution. In the end, nobody could completely remove all the free leaks, and Llama 1 remains accessible to this day. Surprisingly, some users even launched it for fun on Windows, Mac OS, and even Pixel 6 smartphones. After all the commotion, four months later, Meta, in collaboration with Microsoft, unveiled a new generation of Llama, called Llama 2. The best part was that this time, the model successfully avoided any data leaks. According to the corporation, Llama 2 whose performance has significantly improved compared to its predecessor. And learning from the past data breach issue, Zuckerberg decided not to complicate things. In other words, the AI model will be available for free, both for commercial and consumer use. However, for now it is only accessible to users in the United Kingdom and the United States. The new version however has a simple interface optimized for Windows, Mac OS, and smartphones with Snapdragon processors. What's even more impressive is that thanks to the previous data leak, Zuckerberg came up with two versions of the AI. 
They are Llama 2 and Llama 2 Chat. Llama 2 Chat is designed to let people interact with the language model just like with ChatGPT. Also now both Llama 2 and Llama 2 Chat are further divided into versions with varying complexity, 7 billion parameters, 13 billion parameters, and 70 billion parameters. Parameters refer to the components of the model derived from training data, essentially defining the skills of a specific model. So, if you want to converse with an extremely intelligent one, you'd need the model with 70 billion parameters. But if you simply want to chat with a friendly bot about life, the AI with 7 billion parameters is sufficient. Moreover, many claim that Llama 2 can understand and respond to languages conveyed through emojis. Another major update is that Llama 2 was trained on 2 million tokens of raw text, nearly twice as many as the first Llama. Simply put, more tokens make the language model smarter. However, Llama 2 has fewer tokens compared to its competitor Palm 2, released by Google, which has 3.6 million tokens. On the bright side, unlike Google Meta admits that its language models are behind GPT-4. Even in the coding aspect Llama 2 lags behind GPT-4. However, evaluators consider Llama 2 as useful as ChatGPT, as the AI responded similarly to about 4,000 prompts designed to test its usefulness and safety. Meta acknowledges that their tests cannot cover all real-world scenarios, lacking diversity in areas like coding and human thinking. Nevertheless, Llama 2 Chat outperforms Llama 2 in Meta's internal tests for usefulness and toxicity. However, the AI tends to be overly cautious due to restrictions imposed by the corporation to avoid embarrassment. For instance, the AI sometimes avoids answering political questions or queries that could offend some people. In my opinion, this model hasn't been very useful for us, as I don't see any difference from ChatGPT. It might be helpful for you, but for me, OpenAI is still the leader. Moreover, Sam Altman is no fool. He can improve his creation and maintain his leadership in the market. However, this is just my opinion. According to two U.S. Senators, Richard Blumenthal and Josh Hawley, Llama 2's language model has weak protection compared to the old Llama 1, and they fear a similar data leak that occurred four months ago. Although the Senators recognize the benefits of open-source software, they conclude that the lack of thorough public consideration for the consequences of its widespread distribution in Meta ultimately harms the public. Blumenthal and Hawley express concerns that Llama II of may be easily exploited by spammers and cybercriminals for fraud and other inappropriate materials. They compare the differences between OpenAI Chat GPT-4 and Google Bard with Llama to highlight how easily Zuckerberg's creation can generate offensive content. But let's be honest, on one hand the senators might have been wrong. The open source code of the AI model allows others to modify it for specific purposes and enables other developers to contribute their improvements. What do you think about this? Maybe Llama 2 has a future and it could turn out to be better. Or do you still think that GPT-4 is currently the best AI that humanity could come up with? Well, I think just that. At a time when humanity is barely coping with diseases, the danger of AI could deal a severe blow to us. So I believe it's a temporary pause in language models. Thanks everyone for watching, and good luck to all.